Okay, for show and tell, I wanted to bring my new iteration of the My Mini Race Car kit. The uh, previous version I had done used the Bluetooth capability so that I could control the car from the app on the iPad as well as stream the data about temperature and humidity. This time I did what I had threatened to do before, which was control the car using humidity. So I've just uh, updated the software and I'm checking my serial port for humidity readings and I'm getting readings around 55 at a peak. So now with the humidity and temperature sensor here on the back, if I go ahead and blow on it, I should go over that value and that's when the motors will engage. Okay, that could make for a pretty interesting race. Uh, that is my show and tell of the Formula E My Mini race car kit using the TE connectivity humidity sensor and the little 3D printed parts on top of our My Mini race car kit. Hi guys, I'm Tristis. Um, I'm an engineer at DigiKey Electronics, and I wanted to present to you my modifications for the My Mini Race Car. So I'm a very big fan of race cars, and specifically street racing. So I wanted to give My Mini Race Car a kind of a street uh, race car kind of look. So in order to do that, I actually added um, three 16 um, Neo Pixels, and it's actually all powered by the Gemma, which is powered by the 3.7 um, lithium ion battery. So, in order to kind of test this out and show you, so the LEDs, and there's an LED at the bottom, and it actually gives it that kind of um, the underbody look of a street race car. So, in order to actually mount my Gemmas, I actually found um, USB cases, like they cover for the USB, and kind of broke it off and just bent it to the side. And it actually is hovering over the, the wheel. So I don't actually hurt the wheel in any type of way. And it's really cool because you can actually just unscrew it and take it off. Pretty simple. And let's give it a whirl. But anyway, um, I encourage everyone to actually come pick up one of these uh, My Mini Race Cars. It's really cool. And show us what your modifications look like. What else cool can you guys come up with? Hey friends at Adafruit, I am Kevin from DigiKey and I was challenged to share with you some of the modifications I did to My Mini Race Car. My Mini Race Car is a joint collaboration between TE Connectivity, Adafruit, and DigiKey. Uh, we encourage everybody to buy this kit and do any kind of modifications they can to it and share it on Twitter with the hashtag My Mini Race Car. These things can go really fast and get a little hairy on the hairpin turns, so be careful. Uh, some of the modifications I did is I added the Circuit Playground to the wheels. We always like the bling on the wheels. So as you turn the wheels, the accelerometer will change the color of the uh, NeoPixel LEDs. John Park created these great 3D printed fairings. And I used his design, and I, it's the same exact design. I just scaled it down a little bit, because his design, this was his original size. It's a little bit big, and when I'm going fast in this race car, I love driving this thing around, but I want to be as fast as I can. So these fairings, I wanted to line up with the actual wheels to reduce the drag. Another thing I did is the TE humidity and temperature sensor I put on the back of the car so as I'm passing my competitors, I want to be able to see how angry they are because their faces are going to get red and they're going to get hot. So that's why it's on the back of the car. Another thing I added was the roll bar. This thing, like I said, around hairpin corners, this can get a little tricky. So I want to make sure and protect myself when driving this thing. Uh, the really cool thing about this is Adafruit created the Blue Fruit app uh, for your iPhone or Android, so you can drive this directly from your phone. But one other thing is you can actually drive it from your watch. Let me pull up the app here, 
and see if everything's connected right. There it is. So now, you guys gonna come with me? Yeah. Let's do this. Got my car.